812, welcome back. We're 13 days away. Yes, less than two weeks from the total solar eclipse. This is when the moon will pass between the sun and the earth, blocking the face of the sun. The next time the U.S. will see another total eclipse is in 2044, so you better make this one count, right? Beth Harper, professor at University of Houston College of Optometry, is here to discuss safety during the solar eclipse. Good morning, Beth. Hi, thank you for having me. So listen, a lot of people, millions of people are looking forward to this solar eclipse from Texas all the way up to New York. So let's talk about safety and how we can safely watch the eclipse um, throughout those special few minutes. Yeah, I think the more, most important thing to understand is that the sun's rays are harmful. If you go outside without proper skin protection, you know, you can get a, a sunburn. And the same is true for your eyes. If you look directly at the sun, those rays are harmful. They can focus and concentrate on the back of the eye, on the lining of the inside of the eye called the retina, and that can cause a burn. And this can lead to permanent damage to your vision. And so I know a lot of folks, uh, including KPRC, were giving away uh, free pairs of glasses to view the eclipse ahead of um, that April 8th date. If you can't get your hands on a pair of these eclipse solar glasses, any recommendations on what folks can do to participate in the viewing? Sure, yeah, the, the glasses that you're talking about, they look sort of like this, so mm -hmm. they're cardboard and they have this dense filter in them. And then you're gonna look for something on the side called the ISO standard rating. This will tell you that these glasses are the, the right type of glasses to wear to look directly at the sun. Um, if you are looking for these glasses, you wanna try to find them um, with a trusted source. So sometimes your local libraries might carry them, a local pharmacy, even HEB has a few for sale right now. Um, when you get the glasses, you want to look to see if there's any scratches or imperfections. If you see any of those, you don't want to use these glasses because they uh, may not be safe enough for you. Yeah, those are all if you good can't, suggestions. If you can't find any, um, what you can do is um, you can also uh, view the solar eclipse indirectly. So you can take a um, pinhole projector. You can find these um, instructions online and basically it's something that you can do at home that allows you to look at the the eclipse indirectly by projecting it on the ground yeah and i think uh, our meteorologists here have uh, made a few of those with shoe boxes um yes. so we we have that information on our website click to houston.com hey i want to ask you if you accidentally look at the eclipse without glasses or any protection should you be concerned and, and for how long? Like, we'll lay, lay out the scenarios here. Yeah, if you feel like you've exposed your eyes um, to the sun accidentally by uh, trying to look at the eclipse, um, especially if you're noticing any blurry vision or new spots in your vision in the center part of your vision, um, the best thing to do is just go get your eyes evaluated by your local doctor of optometry. They can examine your eyes and look for any signs of damage. Um, although it's important to keep in mind that that sometimes the, this blurry vision and the spots that I mentioned mentioned yeah. and even the burn itself can take a few days um, to be noticeable. Okay, Beth Harper, thank you so much for your time this morning and all this valuable information. We do appreciate it. Great, thank you so much.